welcome all so in this video i will show you how we can redirect http traffic to https so let's get started so here's the documentation from aws and if you go down and see this link http to https redirection so there are two ways for the load balanced environment and single instance so we are using single instance so i'm going to click here and it will show me some github page i'm using java ic environment go inside this and so we need to use this file so the way we can do this is open your IntelliJ or your preferred IDE under dot platform nginx conf.d create a new folder under conf.d called elastic beanstalk and under elastic beanstalk create a new file called 00 underscore application.conf so guys this name is important and the reason is so when if you log in into the server and see and go under slash etc slash nginx slash conf.t slash elastic beanstalk you will see there is already a file called 00 underscore application.com so by doing this we will be replacing that file with our own version so that's the reason this name is important and on the github page also you can see that the name is 00 underscore application.com so now it's very easy just copy this the whole thing and paste it here and anyways we are running on port 5000 this is all correct and now let's just zip everything and deploy to, to our elastic beanstalk environment so i will just open both the path deploy i will delete three things and again copy it dot eb extension dot platform control a command a and compress this to generate archive dot zip file go to your aws management console elastic beanstalk and let's deploy our zip file change to application version 3 and deploy it okay so our deployment is successful now let's just type devkeyonlinetutorials.com and let's see if it redirects to https or not and it's redirecting as you can see it's https now show details you can view the certificate and we are marked already marked the certificate as a trusted so it's showing this way it's a self-signed root certificate visit the website password update settings and you can see it it's redirecting so if I type HTTP and it's getting redirected to HTTPS okay so we are successfully able to redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS so in the next video so here you can see that we are using self signed certificate so in the next video we are going to use something called let's encrypt so this is a non-profit organization to issue the certificate and it's a certificate authority so 
we will be using let's encrypt to sign our certificate which will be free of cost and then we will see how we can renew the certificate automatically so by default all the certificates are valid only for uh, 90 days i think but we are going to automate that process so see you all in the next video